Sunday. We're packing up. This is probably around nine ish. We took our time this morning so we don't have a long hike today. Yeah. So five or six miles or seven, somewhere in there. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, we did 11 yesterday. It was worth it. We got to go to the Waya. Waya? Waya? Waya. So it's just real. We, we took a bunch of pictures. It's a beautiful area. It was clear. There were no clouds. So we actually had a view. Along, along this trail, we run into rain and clouds and stuff. So sometimes the views aren't there. But yesterday we had it. Uh, we hiked down to this campground. It was really packed. There was a Boy Scout troop and just a bunch of people here. So we, we just stayed in the shelter, um, small shelter. We stayed in it. We had a couple other people, and uh, it was good. It was that good, I think. Oh, I slept pretty good, I, but I always toss it to her, but that's yeah. what I do. Uh, and so, uh, we just kind of, after we got in, we just kind of relaxed. And took our time even eating dinner, so. Um, our next stop, big stop, is the Knock. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's just uh, one of the places that most through hikers go to uh, resupply, check things out, maybe even stay there. Um, we're not sure exactly what we're going to do, but that's we're definitely going there. Um, get more information about going through the Smokies. You've got to have some kind of permit, allegedly, right now. But normally you just get a through hiker permit and you're, you're good. Yeah. But this year they're not doing it because they stopped doing that kind of stuff for the ATC this year because of the virus. But uh, we'll figure that out. And if we have to, we're going to skip that and come back and do that part later in the year. Yeah. And just keep going. North. So the Knock is the next big stop. That's only 16 miles away. And then from there, Fontana Dam is another destination point that a lot of people go to. I heard it's we've heard it's pretty well shut down still. So we got to make sure we have all of our supplies before we even get to there. And then that would probably be the point we would jump off if we're gonna not do the Smokies. And then we'll, well, we're still figuring out all this stuff out. So and there are people that help us along the way they have information either coming or going or have done it before yeah people are so awesome so we're gonna head out here in a little bit mm -hmm. oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so far we've picked up a couple trail names sandy's is plantly because we're gonna always talk about the different plants that can heal you if you get stung by a bee if you have rashes if you have poison ivy and I'm trying to tell people what poison ivy is because people are actually hiking and they don't know what it is. So. And mine is Miyagi for Mr. Miyagi. I don't know why. Because they said you were quiet uh, but very thoughtful. <laughs> quiet but thoughtful, Mr. Miyagi. Quiet. Nine yards high. What's on? Okay, so. This is a jewel weed. This is a jewel weed. Jewel weed, jewel weed, jewel, 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 and jewel. There's ferns and other things in there too. No poison ivy? I'm looking for poison ivy right here. They usually grow next to each other, but I don't see any. Okay, and that's what you use to help? Jewel weed is what you use if you get infected with uh, poison ivy. And then how do you use it? You would crunch it up. You can add a little bit of water to it and just put it... Put it right on it. Put it right on the poison ivy. On. So. Okay, so these are plantains. You can see the leaf. How different that leaf is. I wonder because it looks like a banana, like a thing of banana. Mm -hmm. And then here, plantains, right there. plantains. Yeah. Oh, well, these plantains are good for extinct bee stings, and if you get stung by a, a, a hornet or a wasp. Here's some poison ivy on this side. These are small poison ivies right here. See, there's a lime green and a dark green. There's some there. It usually grows hand in hand with this jewel weed right here. This one's an antidote. And here's some more poison ivy, different color, darker. Right here, there's a light green, dark, 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 dark. There's a whole bunch right here. See, it's kind of like reaching out like ivy. Someone is huh? come through and dust off some of these bigger trees. I know, looks like it's been here for a while. 
it makes it a little bit easier to get across when you're on the trail. It's just a cool section of the trail here. It's over, overcast and it's just lush green on the bottom. The trees are green and just a nice area of a section of a trail that's just sometimes you clamor for. Pretty good today. I meant our expectation isn't set high today. We kind of just want to get some miles in, but maybe not too many. And uh, you know, when you take a zero day in town and you have your showers and your meals and a bed, you know, you rest up. And then so that first day out, you, you're feeling pretty, pretty good. Uh, if it's not too, too hard a day, then you know. You're, you're going pretty good, but it's, the trail is still the trail. And as we're still trying to get fit on the trail here, get our trail legs stronger. Um, we love little stretches like this that are, that are super easy to hide. Small stream, but perfect place to get water, that's for sure. Starting to sprinkle a bit. So I put on that cover that we found. <laughs> well, actually, in a hiker box. Got a little bit of hole I didn't notice, but we'll see how it works if it starts to rain. Then he found a clear poncho, lightweight poncho that she's using. So maybe the trail provided for us. We'll find out if it actually rains and how well they work. Some weird things growing on these leaves. I don't think it might be fungus, but that's just weird. No. I'm so glad we made it here. <laughs> What's so weird is that it's normally you can hear the stove. I can't even hear the stove. We were out there when it was almost like this, but not this bad. The lightning is just... Oh, yeah. It's still open. Mm -hmm. 5.30? So a really big thunder shower went through here. Yeah. This is right above our shelter area. Um, been a nice place to camp if we had known about it, but then it would have got soaked. So it's working out okay. Uh, a young family came in and they're going to stay at the shelter too. They're going to get up early and head out. But uh, this is, was it? Cold? Something Gap? Cold Creek? Cold Stream? Something? shelter. I don't know. One or two. So we'll probably stay at another campground tomorrow night and then get into the knock the next day. North Carolina. I don't know. I can't tell what direction it is. All right. Uh, we found this. Oh, we didn't find it. The fellow that was with at, at the shelter came looking around. And he found a little picnic table up here by that viewer just at. And Sandy's making us a little evening snack. Uh, we had some dinner earlier, I guess you would call it. Yeah, we had some shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. The tortillas helped. The tortillas are like awesomeness. Yeah. So it's like, it's not rainy, but everything's wet. That's our food bag in case you're not familiar with stuff. We're going to hang that up on our way back down on tree. Now, since we've been on the last five or six, there haven't been any bear cables or bear boxes, huh? It's so we've had to hang it in the tree now. We've been on trail for three weeks. Well, three weeks uh, calendar time, but. Where's the water? Well, I think I left it up there, oh. I gotta get it. And then, uh, but trail wise, what? Like 14 days, maybe 15 days. And we haven't seen a bear yet. We've seen some bear poo, but. So we just stash everything. All the food, then all the things that have like smelly items, like that, Lotion. soaps, lotions, stuff like that, and uh, 
hang it in. Here's it. We just got to. Oh, I was gonna show them how to hang the bag, but we'll do that next time. We have a few months of doing that. So <laughs> uh, here's our little shelter we're staying in. It's cute. <clears throat> Built. I think I might have said it already, huh? Built during the CCC. Definitely logs. <laughs>